Virgin America vanishes along with Branson's U.S. dream. Bloomberg The last vestiges of the Virgin America brand area now aviation history, bringing a formal end to Richard Branson's brash, a groundbreaking effort to put some European flair replete with cheeky branding and mood lighting win to U.S. skies. Alaska Air Group Inc. has finished repainting the Airbus SE fleet it acquired when it bought the Branson-backed carrier three years ago. At 71st and final Alaska Airbus A321 and EO was scheduled to roll layout of a painting facility in Victorville, California Sunday after nine days of refurbishments, resuming commercial service Monday. Alaska is Virgin America sale, which occurred despite AAVA Branson, a minority shareholder, marked the beginning A of the British billionaire SAR retrenchment from airlines. At following year, he of Virgin Atlantic Airways Limited, who his first airline venture back in 1984 Udo 20% as Air France slash KLM, acquired a 31% stake in the carrier. Delta Airlines and, as I get a little older, I want to be certain that all the necessary building blocks are in place for Virgin Atlantic to continue to prosper and grow for the next 50 years, Branson wrote in AN 2017. A Virgin Group has also trimmed its stake in Virgin Australia Holdings Limited to 10%. For major industry for Virgin America, Alaska spent $2.6 billion as part of an aggressive effort to bolster its competitive presence in California. In April, despite Alaska's investment for new paint and interiors on Virgin's Airbus aircraft, it's an open question whether Airbus will retain a seat at the table with the Acetyl-based carrier, a which had proudly proclaimed itself an all-Boeing fleet. As part of its takeover of Virgin America, Alaska will take two additional Airbus A321 and EO aircraft this year, though it's not required to a accept an order for 30 more planes Virgin paid upon to accept between 2022 and 2024. The first of Alaska, Alaska's decision on whether to retain two fleet types is all financial, President Ben Minikuchi said in an interview earlier this year at San Francisco International Airport. They're both great airplanes, he said, but the company must assess the costs and value of returning to its all Boeing status or keeping the Airbus for shorter north, south and regional routes. The company plans Alaska has been transitioning its Boeing 737s into many of the former Virgin transcontinental routes between California and the East Coast. The airline also, while the red liveries and airport signage is sported by Virgin Americoth, most recent major airline established in America are now gone, the brand itself isn't fully dead. Alaska is still a Virgin Group spokeswoman, Michelle Mendiola, said terms of the agreement with Alaska are confidential. Alaska are paying royalties which enable them to use it, but how or when they do would be to their discretion, Mendiola said in an email. On Alaska spokeswoman said the company is no longer rossing the Virgin brand but declined to discuss the topic further. So while Branson's American endeavor is history, the Virgin America name could return to the U.S. The U.S. carrier agreed to a 25-year branding relationship with Virgin Group, which would potentially leave Alaska with rights to the brand until 2039. There is a chance we could use the Virgin America brand in some form down the road, Alaska Chief Executive Brad Tilden said in April 2016 announcing the acquisition. Looking up, open the park.